If you've just updated to the latest version of GarageBand 2.3.10 and found that your plugins have mysteriously disappeared, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get them back. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. Welcome to Studio Live today. Now, GarageBand has a new update. It is only bug fixes and stability improvements, so there's nothing much to talk about, but unfortunately, it has caused this problem for some people, so I wanted to walk you through it. If your GarageBand looks like this, where you don't have any of your external plugins, so if you downloaded audio unit plugins and you can't see them, there's a really simple fix. We don't know why it's happened, but to fix it, all you need to do is close out of all of your apps. So if you've got apps open, like I do here, you need to close out of all of your apps on your iPhone or iPad, and then you need to turn it off and turn it back on again. Let's jump over. I'll show you what it looked like earlier on my iPad. So here's a screenshot of what I was faced with earlier today. I thought it was just me, but I've since had a bunch of messages and emails from other folks saying the same thing, and they're getting something like this, where you don't have your own effects here in the audio unit extensions once you go into your mixer. So if we jump back over to GarageBand, what I have now is all of them. So these are all of the audio unit extensions I have. So I've got them back, and all I did to do this was to simply close out of all of your apps. Now, if you're on an iPad or an iPhone, you just need to double tap on your button or swipe up if you're on a newer iPhone or iPad, get rid of all of these, and then all you need to do is power down. So hold down your home button and your power button or the up volume up button and the power button. I don't know what Apple call them these days. And you get this, power that sucker off, turn it completely off, leave it for 10 seconds. I don't know why, but I always leave things for 10 seconds. Turn it back on. And once you come back in here, let me just put my passcode in. So once we're powered back up, we just open up GarageBand, come in here. And uh, once we go and we get rid of that AirPlay notification, we come into our plugins and EQ. And what you should find is that you have them all back intact. I don't know why it happened, but this has fixed it. And uh, when I've showed other people, it has fixed it for them too. If it doesn't fix it, there's a couple of other options that you have. Have. There's some ways to reset GarageBand that may help you out and some other GarageBand crashing videos that I have. I'm going to link those up there and down in the description as well. But unfortunately, like most things, the universal fix is what you're going to need here. You're going to need to close everything, turn it off, turn it back on again, and you should get your plugins back. Now, the new update has fixed a few things. We don't seem to have the automation bug anymore. So when you were automating a track in the past, you would tap here, you would hit automation, and uh, every time you seem to come in here and put automation points on, it would crash your app. That doesn't seem to be happening, at least in my experience, anymore. And the other thing that this seems to have fixed on some iPads is that for a while there, especially in iOS 14 and 14.1, we didn't... All these looked like this. All of these looked orange, even our plugins. So I don't know what it is about the new iOS, the new iPad OS, and the new GarageBand version that seems to have it in for plugins, but it seems to have caused some plugin related issues. So that is going to do it for this one. A really quick and simple one, but I just wanted to put this out there because if you're updating your GarageBand, you've updated to iOS or iPad OS 14.2, and you're in plugin hell, well, then hopefully this is something that is going to help you get out of that and get back and creating as soon as possible.